Hey, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to make a composition and I'm going to use the grass brush that I created in the previous video. So I'm starting out with the lasso tool and starting out with the base color and just planning out where I want to place things. I'm going right into it uh, with shapes, not really starting with an underdrawing or an under, uh, you know, underlying sketch, just kind of uh, free forming it. And basically my technique involves using the lasso tools to make enclosed shapes and um, you know using those shapes filling those in with color using option delete or alt backspace and making objects um, in that approach so I switch between the freeform lasso tool for more organic looking shapes and I use the poly lasso tool for you know hard edges it's a really powerful technique. I talk about this in some of my earlier videos. Uh, do have a look at that if that piques your curiosity. It's a very fast way of working. Great for things like painting landscapes. So here I'm using a square brush that I've created to um, uh, create the brickwork. And I'm coming back on a layer underneath using the poly lasso tool to create the, um, I guess, the grout between the bricks just to give it a little bit more, um, you know, um, believability. And as I work through this, I'm just kind of thinking on the fly. This video is sped up twice uh, from what its normal speed is. Uh, I think a good keyboard shortcut to know is shift uh, control option uh, command N which will make a brand new layer here I'm using the polygon lasso or the freeform lasso tool to make a series of evergreen trees that are off in the distance I use command J command U to quickly change the color it's my preferred way of uh, dialing in the color without having to go into the swatches panel. And I'm looking to create some contrast, but I want those colors in the background to be a little bit more muted, which is why I didn't settle for a very dark set of evergreen trees. So now I'm thinking about adding a path. And, you know, a, a lot of my nature compositions are just derived from my own hikes. Uh, they're like taking a mental vacation. So when I create my landscapes, I usually don't put people in them. I just like to capture the environment uh, in, its, uh, in its natural way. Here I'm making one of those old signposts and the, the polygon lasso tool is great for that. And I'll be adding that grass brush in soon, but first I'm blocking in the basic composition and making sure that I like everything that's going on. And then the grass brush is really a detail and adds some texture. And I usually do that towards um, the uh, end. Here I'm adding some highlights to that staff. And with this approach, you generate a lot of layers, and that's okay. Now I'm using that grass brush. And I have it saved to my tool presets for quick access. And as I work with it, I'm just basically dragging it down. I'm also going to be changing the size of the brush and also changing the color of the grass by, you know, sampling that from the color panel. Uh, and I'm thinking about how grass typically grows if you're kind of in a forest area or a place that doesn't necessarily get its lawn mowed very often you're going to see certain blades stick out higher than others and uh, I'm not trying to cover every conceivable area with grass but I'm just hinting at that idea and putting it in there so that there's a general understanding when someone looks at this that you know there is grass so just like you don't have to draw every brick in a brick wall, you don't have to draw every blade of grass. You just have to have enough 
to where your audience will immediately pick up on the fact that what they're looking at is grass. So here I was thinking about maybe what to put on the sign. Um, so I'm kind of noodling with that, kind of moving back into adding some grass. I feel like something needs to be added here, so I'm adding a tree. I'm just gonna play with the value of the tree. Make sure that it's dark. Again, to create the bark on the tree, I'm holding down the shift key using the freeform lasso tool and then sampling that initial periwinkle blue, hitting command J, command U. And in a layer below the trunk, I will go ahead and carve out the leaves on the tree. And again, holding down the shift key with the freeform lasso tool, I'm adding in some dark values. You want to think about adding some dark and light values just to hint at the idea that the tree is not just a flat shape. And I'm also leaving certain gaps open where light is penetrating through. Doing a quick grayscale test there. And now I'm playing with the background. I'm saturating the sky a little bit. Okay, so here I'm going to go to the layer that's right above the background layer with the sky and I'm going in with a large round soft opacity brush and I'm filling that area with white to create a subtle gradient just to separate the ground from the um, sky. And here what I'm doing is I'm going in with a cool color and I'm trying to put more of the focus on the sign. So I'm, you know, putting a cool color like purple and then I'm muting that color by desaturating it so that the eye moves towards the center. And then now I'm using a separate layer here that is a screen layer with that same large round opacity brush. And I'm using some reds to bring in some warmth. And finally, I, I have an idea of what I want to put on the sign. It's hard coming up with names. And then the, the part of the sign that's facing away from the light, I'm just gonna go ahead and make that darker. So that's what I'm doing here. Also affecting the lettering. And there we go. So I hope you found the video to be useful. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you want me to make more brushes and show more brush effects, drop me a comment. I'm always curious to see uh, what people are getting out of these videos. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.